stop me if this sounds familiar. You have to be up early for work or school tomorrow. You have to leave your house by 7.30 a.m. And in order to get enough sleep, you have to get to bed early, but you don't. You stay up watching TV, scrolling on your phone, doing anything but sleeping because you're just not tired. And when the morning hits, oh man, you're a wreck. But look, the issue isn't your lack of discipline, probably. More likely, it comes down to your chronotype, which means we are naturally inclined to be more productive at certain times of day. Often we talk about chronotypes in two different ways. You're either an early bird or a night owl. And there's no doubt the world is made for early birds. School starts early, work starts early. Have you ever tried to make a dentist appointment for 8 p.m. on a Wednesday? So let's talk about how chronotypes affect our productivity. And for you night owls, how you can start adjusting your daily schedules to make the early bird life a little less painful. Okay, in order to understand our chronotypes, we need to understand something called our circadian rhythm. Your circadian rhythms are the internal clock systems your body uses to self-regulate. And just about every organ in our body has its own circadian rhythm. That's right, our stomach works on a separate clock from our brain, which works on a separate clock from our hearts. They operate on roughly a 24-hour cycle, and it largely depends on the amount of light you take in. These rhythms are tied to your body's master clock. You'll find that clock in a part of your brain called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or SCN, located in the hypothalamus. The SCN is super light sensitive. That's why your circadian rhythms closely follow the day-night cycle. And it's why the sleep-wake cycle is the most popular circadian rhythm. So during the day, your exposure to sunlight tells your master clock it's time to wake up. Your brain releases hormones that make you feel more alert. As the sun sets, your master clock knows to release melatonin, which makes you feel tired and ready for sleep. Too much light exposure at night, whether from your phone or bright lights, delays melatonin production. Your brain still thinks it's daytime. Meanwhile, lack of light exposure during the day prevents your body from producing alertness hormones. Your brain still thinks it's night. So what is it? Is your chronotype not meant for the nine to five schedule? Or do you just need to rein in your circadian rhythm? The truth is, it's probably a little bit of both. Your chronotype and circadian rhythm are closely related. There's just one major difference. You can train your circadian rhythm. Your chronotype, however, is almost hardwired into your DNA. Whether you're a night owl or an early bird is built right into your central nervous system. In short, your chronotype largely dictates when you're going to be at your physical and cognitive best. So if your chronotype is that of a typical night owl, you can probably still drag yourself out of bed in time for that 8 a.m. meeting. It's just that your brain probably really isn't going to be firing until later in the day. And if a night owl is committed to working out in the morning before work, for example, you're probably not going to be getting any PRs. And on the other side of the coin, you early birds are alert, productive, and sharp as a tack early in the morning. Your creative energy is at its peak in the morning, and yeah, go ahead and push for a PR during the workout. But that post-lunch haze will hit you for real around 3 p.m., and your productivity at work will probably grind to a halt. But look, while we tend to think of early birds as ambitious and perhaps more successful, the truth is, neither chronotype is inherently better. It's just that we've decided to run much of our society on a chronotype that works best for early birds, and both chronotypes have their benefits. Studies have demonstrated that early birds tend to perform better in school, tend to be more conscientious and agreeable, while night owls and those of you more alert in the evening tend to be more creative thinkers, tend to be more open to new experiences. But night owls are also more inclined toward poor diets, mental health disorders, and using substances like alcohol, tobacco, and caffeine. And when we feel the friction of our daily rhythms conflicting with our internal clocks, the result is a feeling of something called social jet lag. Social jet lag is when later chronotypes are forced to perform early in the day. They tend to feel permanently tired until they finally fall asleep that night. Early birds experience social jet lag when they're forced into late night activities. In both cases, social jet lag occurs when the different chronotypes must perform at non-peak hours. Perhaps the best example of this is in teenagers. Research suggests that chronotypes get pushed back during adolescence, meaning we struggle to wake up early. Meanwhile, many high schools start well before 8 a.m. and finish early in the afternoon, which is why, when given the choice on the weekends, your teenager sleeps until 11 a.m. So if you're feeling like the social jet lag is really getting in the way of your school or work schedule, what can you do about it? Can you actually change your chronotype? 
Well, your chronotype is largely a genetic thing, and it's hard to change genetic proclivities. But your age, environment, and your overall activity level also plays a role. So to quote my therapist, control what you can control. Wait. Anyway, the point is it's possible to tinker with your chronotype by making some basic changes. In fact, one study asked night owls to make a handful of changes for three weeks. They asked them to wake up and go to bed three hours earlier than normal, maintain that schedule even on the weekends or days off, get as much outdoor light as possible in the morning and limit their outdoor light in the evening, adjust their meal times, and avoid afternoon coffee, naps, and workouts. And lo and behold, it worked. The study participants got the same amount of sleep as before the study, reported feeling less stressed and less anxious. But again, much of this may have to do with just a better alignment with your social commitments and expectations. In short, if you're trying to become a morning person, those are great habits to follow. But rather than shifting your wake and bedtimes by three hours all at once, make it gradual. Try 15 minute shifts every few days to allow your body to accommodate. So, okay, as a night owl, you might be listening to this and thinking, no, there's no freaking way I'm doing this. That's fair. You can either go on continuing to feel the social jet lag or make a few minor changes. First, try shifting your work schedule to match your chronotype. That's obviously easier said than done, and self-employed people will have an easier time. You might be out of luck if you work in an office setting. Still, it never hurts to ask. Just toss in buzzwords like increased productivity and more efficiency. Corporate types love that. If that doesn't work, try taking short naps during the day. They can give you the energy you need to last until five o'clock. Just don't nap too late in the day. Ideally, a 20 to 25 minute window between lunch and 3 p.m. will work wonders without keeping you awake at night. And practice good sleep sleep hygiene and stick to consistent bed and wake times the best you can. That includes being mindful of your caffeine and alcohol intake and making sure you're sleeping in a cool, dark, comfortable environment. Look, early birds have it easy. They're natural morning people. And there's no doubt about it. The world is built for morning people. But just because you're a night owl doesn't mean you're locked out of the club forever. Get to know your chronotype and try to build your work schedule around peak performance hours. And with the right sleep hygiene practices and a few lifestyle changes, night owls can be just as productive as early birds. It's not just your chronotype that you can change though. If you're interested in how to adjust your circadian rhythm, we have a video for you all about that right here. Thanks for watching everyone. Sleep well.